Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today our lesson on the understanding gender in the Arabic. A comprehensive overview of a masculine and the family nouns. I am Khalid bin Imdi Bhutu Jawan Biplop. In this lesson, we, what we are going to study today. The about on the masculine and the feminine. The Tamarbuta, the Alif Maksura, the Alif Hamza and the feminine words by nature. So we are going to know about the masculine and the feminine. Arabic has two genders, masculine and the feminine. There is a clear difference between masculine and feminine in Arabic. The terminology used for gender is uh, al jins which translates or to sex or race, kind. Generally speaking, a noun is either masculine, feminine or of an uncertain gender. Sometimes it's masculine, sometimes it's the feminine. So we want to know the is have any special form for masculine and the feminine. The masculine nouns don't have a special form, but other hand, the feminine nouns have the three speci uh, specific forms ending with the tamarbuta, the alif maksura, the alif hamja. So the first form is the tamarbuta, e the letter ha, when written with two dots of ha, is pronounced is ta the same way where that ta is spoken so we call this form tamarbuta the most common way to derive feminine nouns and adjective is by adding the an ending atun to the masculine form the here is just some example of the masculine and the feminine form the first one is uh, the english term is the he is a teacher the arabic form is huwa mualimun and the feminine is the she is a teacher. Hiya mualimatun. The second one is huwa uh, amirun. He is a princess. And the masculine form is hiya amiratun. She is a princess. The second form of the alif maksura. The alif a maksura is used to elitives and the masculine adjective in the pattern of diptote. Here is some example of elitives and adjective in diptote. The Masculine is asanu, that means thirsty. The feminine word is asa, that means thirsty. The elitives is akhair, the, uh, that means other. And the feminine word is ukhra, that means other. The third one is alif hamja. The alif hamja is used for color or the deformities. So here is some example of the color and deformities masculine and the feminine word the masculine word is blind that means um, uh, and the family uh, feminine uh, blind is arabic form is ami au the second example is red that means color uh, and the feminine word is ukra uh, the feminine words by the nature the last uh, topics in this lesson the feminine words by the nature uh, when it comes to most of the body pair parts or organs, they tend to be identified as the feminine. For example, foot, the pair parts of the human body, kadam. The another example is eye, the pair parts of the human body is ainun. The other is uh, some words are feminine by nature because they can only relate to the woman. That first example is mother, umun. And second uh, example is bride, arus. Thank you for the listening this lesson as